Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about encoders. And an encoder is a device that has two to the n inputs and outputs a uh, n-bit binary number on the output. And it'll be drawn like this. So two to the n inputs, only one of which can be high at any given time. And out of here will come a binary number representing uh, which one was asserted as high. OK, so let's take a look at how, how these guys work internally. Let's say I have a four input encoder. Yeah. All right, and I have two outputs. Uh, I talked about decoders previously, but in, in, uh, decoders used AND gates. Encoders use OR gates. And so this is the value 0, 1, 2, 3. Well, 0 actually isn't connected to anything. And 1 goes to an OR gate for here. This is the least significant bit, and this is your most significant bit. 2 goes to an OR gate for here. Not doing the best job of drawing. And 3 goes to here and here. So let's look at what happens here. 0. Neither of these go high. One, this one goes high, which uh, would be zero, one, this being the least significant bit. All right. If I assert two, then the most significant bit goes high, and the other one is low. And if I do three, both of them go high. All right, and we could expand this again. Let's do a eight input and three output encoder. So we have zero, one, two, and three. We have our OR gates. Okay, so zero doesn't connect to anything. One goes to here. Two goes over to here. Three goes to here and here. Four goes here. Five goes here and up to here. Six goes to here and here and seven goes to all three of them. Like that. And it's starting to get a little messy and it'd look much nicer if I drew it up with CAD. But let's take a look at what happens. So five is represented by one zero one and so We've got 5 connects up to this one. It does not connect to this one, and it connects to this one, so we get 1, 0, 1 on the output. So there you go. That's an encoder. Uh, it's a simple logic device that would be useful in certain situations where you might have, uh, let's say you've got a machine and you need to read sensors off of the machine, and maybe they might signal an error condition. So it's unlikely that you're going to have multiple of these at the same time uh, be asserted. So uh, maybe this is a bump switch and it's saying your machine has gone too far. Well, uh, three uh, is asserted here. 
we get that in a binary form that can go into our processor and we can use it in uh, a much more simple way. Instead of having to use eight I.O. lines, we can just use three. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you liked it, check out my YouTube channel where I have more videos about digital logic. For uh, robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington.